This cutaway illustration will help to better explain how the failsafe is designed to fail before any other part of the tool. If the precision ground groove should fail, it will be captured in the tapered coupling nut. If you suspect that the failsafe is broken, first remove the power unit from the head. While holding the coupling and coupling nut pushed together, attempt to rotate the nut 360 degrees in either direction. If the coupling nut rotates, the failsafe has broken and the power unit must be returned to amp for repair. Never use a tool with a broken failsafe. The ram should be checked for free movement. If the ram sticks, spray inside the breech using a good quality cleaning oil. Work the ram up and down until it moves freely. All Ampac tools are designed to have a certain amount of play inside the coupling nut. This movement is required for the tool to be fired. Check for this condition by holding the breech and pushing in and out on the threaded coupling as shown. To clean the gas release knob, remove the retaining spring and remove the knob. With the cleaning tool positioned as shown, rotate the tool until the counter bore is clean. Turn the cleaning tool rod out as shown and remove any carbon deposits from the gas portholes. Clean the piercer pin base and check the length of the piercer pin using the gauge on the cleaning tool. A good pin length will not pass through the gauge. If the pin passes through the gauge, the gas release knob must be replaced. Using the cleaning tool inserted into the piercer pin guide as shown, clean the piercer pin guide and surrounding surface. Insert the cleaning tool into the breech cap sleeve and clean the recesses of any plastic or carbon deposits. Again, rotate the tool several times to assure proper cleaning. To clean the threads on the gas release knob and breech cap sleeve, use the thread cleaning portions of the cleaning tool as shown. Rotate the tool until the threads are clean. Spray the breech cap sleeve and gas release knob using a good quantity cleaning oil. Reassemble the breech cap and replace the spring retaining clip. Complete the cleaning procedure by replacing the breech cap assembly onto the power unit. This completes Module 2 of the AMPAC TAP System Training Program. For additional information concerning tool maintenance, refer to the AMP Customer Manual CM2106. Module 3, the last module in this training program, will cover the AMPAC Hot Stick Kit. The AMPAC Hot Stick Kit makes it possible to adapt AMPAC tools to standard commercial hot stick equipment. When used in hot line applications, the AMPAC tool permits the installer to work parallel to a line instead of across it, thereby reducing exposure to dangerous, energized lines. Components of the AMPAC hot stick kit include a geared breech cap adapted with a ring that fits the shotgun stick. The entire assembly turns as the stick is twisted. The tool holder is needed for both the small and large tool heads. The C holder tightly holds the C member in position for placement on the through wire. Two 90 degree adapters are used with the tool holder and wedge holder. The wedge holder secures the wedge for positioning it in the C member. The piggyback clamp holds wires in position for application on the tap. The last item in the kit is the hammer which is used to seat the wedge into the C-member and also to fire the tool. A large C and wedge holder and a large piggyback clamp are necessary for conductor sizes 795 and larger. To prepare the AMPAC tool for a hot stick application, first select the proper tool holder, either small or large. The tool holder is attached to the hot stick as shown. The 90 degree adapter can be used with the tool holder to achieve the best working position. The tool is clamped in the holder as shown. Remove the standard breech cap, load the tool with a correct color-coded shell, and screw on the geared breech cap. To begin installation, the piggyback clamp must be used to install the tap wire into the bottom groove. Two methods are recommended. Using the standard method, clamp the tap wire in the bottom guide below the through wire. Then clamp the through wire into the top guide. An alternate method is to clamp the tap wire into the top guide above the through wire. Then clamp the through wire into the bottom guide. Your shotgun stick should be used to apply the clamp.
to assemble the C-holder, install the 90-degree adapter to the wedge holder and attach it to the C-holder. Slip the C-member into the C-holder and tighten the eye bolt. Place the wide end of the wedge into the wedge holder with the wedge grooves oriented properly in relation to the through and tap wire. Tighten the wedge holder bolt. Position the tap wire in the bottom groove of the C-member and push up to hook the C-member over the through wire. The tap should be located 6 to 10 inches away from the piggyback clamp with the narrow end of the C toward the clamp. Twist the shotgun stick to loosen the C-holder from the C-member. To position the wedge, place the wedge between the wires and into the wide end of the C-member. Strike the wedge holder with the hammer to temporarily secure it in the C. Loosen the wedge holding bolt with the rubber end of the hammer and remove the wedge holder. The tap is now in position for firing. An alternate method for positioning the wedge eliminates the need to cut the end of the tap wire after applying the tap. Tape the end of the tap wire to prevent strands from opening and apply the piggyback clamp 8 to 12 inches from the end of the tap wire. Locate the C-member 6 to 10 inches from the clamp. Make sure that the narrow end of the C is toward the clamp. Bend the end of the tap wire down and use the hammer to temporarily secure the wedge into the C-member. The tool can now be loaded with the correct color-coded shell required for applying the tap. We are using a blue-coated tap. The tool must be loaded before being positioned onto the tap. Loading procedures are the same as for the glove method outlined in Module 1 of this program. The tool is also positioned according to the same procedures as the glove method. Once the tool is in the position, the assembly is made self-supporting by twisting the shotgun stick clockwise. To fire the tool, strike the breech cap with the rubber end of the hammer. Release the gas by turning the shotgun stick counterclockwise. To apply the stirrup, pick up the bale using the shotgun stick. Hook the C-member on the through line as shown and remove the shotgun stick. Attach the 90-degree adapter and wedge holder to the hot stick. Insert the wide end of the wedge into the wedge holder and tighten. Next, insert the wedge into the C-member and tap the C onto the wedge using the hammer. This completes the last module of the Ampac Tap System Training Program.